Will it be sunny? Cloudy? Or a rainy day? If you're planning outdoor activities, you can check the forecast from the Hong Kong Observatory or learn some simple weather observation methods to make your own predictions. Distinguishing the different cloud types is one. Clouds are categorized according to their height into low, middle and high level clouds. According to their characteristic forms, the three cloud levels can be further classified into ten types. These ten cloud types form in different seasons in Hong Kong. In summer, warm and moist southerly wind blows. Water vapor rises when it meets the mountain in coastal areas. Strong sunshine causes the warm air to rise and thick clouds to develop, like the cumulus clouds we see in the sky now. They bring us hot weather with showers. Observers can measure visibility, the distance that can be seen clearly, on the rooftop of the Hong Kong Observatory's headquarters in Chimsa Choi. Using this panorama, they can get the measurement ranging from 100 meters to 50 kilometers. After looking all around, we can easily see all locations, including Lantau Peak in the west. So, we select this distance, 30 kilometers, as the visibility. You can easily measure relative humidity, the amount of moisture in the air, using two thermometers, one wrapped in wet cotton. Record the two temperature readings and use this chart to determine the relative humidity level. High relative humidity means there is a lot of moisture in the air and a greater chance of rain and fog. The Hong Kong Observatory will organize a weather observation training course in mid-October to introduce these and other tips. Yvonne Leung developed an interest in meteorology when she studied geography in Secondary 4 and joined a previous weather observation training course. I learned how to observe and record the data. More importantly, I met many people who shared my interest. The Hong Kong Observatory also covers the astronomical work which relates to the movements of the sun and moon. For the coming mid-autumn festival, its experts say the moon we will see will be quite similar to the so-called supermoon that appeared on August 11th. The moon will still be quite close to the perigee on the mid-autumn festival day. The distance from the Earth is just about 1,000 kilometers, but slightly farther away from that on the so-called supermoon on 11th August. Therefore, if the weather condition is good, the moon will still be rather bright and round at night and also look rather big. The perigee is the closest point to the Earth and the apogee is the furthest. This photograph shows the difference in the moon's size at these two points. On mid-autumn festival day, the moon will rise at 5.51 p.m. and reach its highest point at 11.55 p.m.